Okay, so we've got this class for making coffee. Let's give it a try. We'll create a new instance. We'll check the default number of shots. Then we'll add a shot um, of espresso. And then we'll check that it ha now has two shots. Great. Um, but what if we want a little bit more output? Let's create a subclass. We'll call it Chatty Barista. This one's going to override the add shot method. And it's going to reuse the superclass functionality, but then it's going to add some logging at the end. Um, let's give this a try. Uh, we'll make an instance of the new class. And once again, it starts out with one shot. We'll add a shot, and then we'll check the ending sh number of shots. And we can see the chattiness at the end there. It did some output. Um, it looks like it's working the same as the original otherwise. Or is it? Let's reveal the output of add shot. And oh, look at that. It's nil, where the original returned two. Now we could fix this by capturing the result and returning it, but there's another way I like to do this, which is a little bit more elegant and harder to screw up. And that is to use the tap method on the superclass result and add our functionality inside that tap block. This way we're not introducing a new variable and we have a very clear place visually to add new functionality without changing the result.